at five with some success when it comes to getting guns off central Indiana streets. This is all the work of the Indiana Crime Guns Task Force. Since July 1st of last year, they report that they've seized 369 guns and made the arrests of 397 people. Rich and I joins us in studio with a look at how law enforcement agencies are working together to catch those criminals. Those are some important numbers that we just had there, Rich. And I've got some more numbers for you coming up. Police in Indianapolis are often dealing with the same criminals using the same guns as police in Fishers or some other suburb. The Indiana Crime Guns Task Force was formed to better track down those suspects and connect their guns to multiple crimes in multiple jurisdictions. The task force includes local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies in central Indiana, sharing information and resources. Using science and data and technology to apply good police tactics to accomplish a terrific outcome for not just Indianapolis. The arrests that you'll hear about are from Fishers, they're from Plainfield, they're from Greenwood, they're from Westfield, Zionsville, Carmel. We are all in this fight together. For over a year, this task force has been sending a clear message to criminals. You cannot hide across these invisible boundary lines, and what we are doing is working. 127 murders in Indianapolis so far this year is down from 159 a year ago at this time. That's more than a 20% drop. Homicides are down 18%. Non-fatal shootings are down almost 10%. When the city talks about those numbers, they're also talking about the efforts of uh, residents and neighborhoods who, who make a decision that we're going to get involved and there's a part that we can play to help bring down the violence. The task force tracks guns used in crimes in the National Integrated Ballistic Information Network. The task force targets suspects who should not have guns, like the convicted felons charged in the recent shootings of Indiana police officers. It became very personal to me and to many of you with what recently occurred in Elwood and Richmond. Neither one of those individuals should have, should, obviously are prohibited. I'll just leave it at that. And what they did and how it rocked the conscience of two local communities. IMPD started the Crime Gun Intelligence Center in 2019. That grew into this regional Indiana Crime Guns Task Force in July 2021 to coordinate gun evidence throughout central Indiana. The task force says Indiana's permitless carry law has hindered the ability of police to investigate whether a gun is illegally possessed, stolen, or linked to other crimes. But the law just took effect July 1st, so police say the full impact is not yet known.